Can you give a brief synopsis of your career so far? Ah, okay. Okay. So, how do you want me to, like, explain this? It's last call at the Ren as the Huskies look to become bowl eligible against the Flames from Lynchburg, Virginia. Liberty ranked 19th in both national polls, their highest regular season national ranking in each poll in program history. They come in riding a seven game winning streak. How will the Huskies respond to the significance of this game today? This senior day today, you think of the guys that are playing their last game here at the Ren, like Ian Swenson who has endured a lot. The grad transfers like Jake Guidone and Marquez Bembry and, and the guys like that. It's a, it's a special time and obviously Adam, it's meaningful football in November for them. A year ago yesterday, the revolution began and that was on November 11th, 2021. That was the day that Jim Morris signed a five-year contract to be the head coach at UConn and at the time, David Benedict said, you know, Jim possesses the experience and the energy to lead our football program back to success. And boy, was he ever prescient with those words. Just this week, Morris said that, I knew he had the bones to make this thing work. Hey, it's the basketball capital of the world, but we got to carve out some space for football. And they have done just that in the last 366 days. Came in for head look. Got a whole lot of number I ain't had enough. We the soul, I know everybody mad at me. Tell them roll, I know everybody smashing. Turn into a very nice day here at Bradford Lee Stadium as we get set for senior day. Time to head upstairs to the big one broadcast booth for the first time. We get you set for the last day. This is the only way we know to go. Squad up, never roll. Liberty, 8 and 1, winners of six in a row. Robert Burns' first kickoff return of the season. Straight ahead, he's got an opening to the 40. He breaks through near midfield. And UConn has great field position to start the ball game. Motion. Off to Victor Rosa, cuts left, stays on his feet, breaks through into the end zone. Victor Rosa dances for six again. Seven on the season, six in the books, and the Huskies have a lead. Steps off, wants to throw, under pressure, steps up, eludes the tackler. Watts gets it from behind, the ball is loose, it's picked up, and he'll score. The Huskies have scored. What a turnover! What a turn of events! Watts the sacks on back-to-back -back plays. Finally he throws, and it's overthrown and intercepted! Chris Sheeran at the 40! And it burns, he starts to... Right, he breaks open! Burns on his feet to the 30! The 35-40! Burns, straight ahead! Burns! Into the end zone! Touchdown, UConn! Robert Burns! Putting the team on his back, and he pounds it in. It began with a 58-yard run by Brown. And it's intercepted on the 40-yard line, out of the 50. It's the snap, hands off. Straight ahead, and no signal yet. Now there's a signal of a touchdown. And Wayne, that puts them back in this thing in a big way. They're only down 21-17, and they get the ball to start the second half. I keep telling you guys, we ain't come this far just to come this far. Play some ball, relax. Give me 280. Okay. Give me 280. Hey, we walk in here winners, man. Yes, sir. Hey, this team has been through so much and come so far, and you guys have become so close, and you care about each other. All right, and it means something to you, and it ain't like that every day. It just ain't. It ain't. So draw on them, right? Do not be denied. But part of that is we need this. You know what I'm saying? Just a little, just a little bit of that. Look, I'm, I'm up tight. I, I'm not going to let it rub off on you. Just tell me to settle down, too. Okay? We're all in this together. Are you ready? Sir. Let's go get this one. Here we go. Brotherhood. One, two, three. Brotherhood. Welcome back to Brad Whitley Stadium, Richland Field, and UConn with a lead over number 19, Liberty, 21 to 17 at the break. They led by 11 a couple different times. First and goal, Green straight ahead and into the end zone, and Liberty comes out of the locker room and runs down the field to take the lead over UConn. And the tackle by Ian Swenson, well short of the first down. And Liberty 
has extended their lead. We're within a touchdown. The score here. Send our seniors out on a bang. Brotherhood. One, two, three, four. And Rosa breaks a tackle. And he's on his feet. And he's going to the end zone. Oh, baby. Victor Rosa will not be denied. to work. Sweep left. Douglas stays on his feet at the 30, up the left sideline, and he's gone. The 40, the 30, the 15, the 10, five touchdown. And Liberty with an immediate answer from Demario Douglas. They hand left to Devante, and nothing doing that time. And UConn's got to turn it over. This is going to give good field position to Liberty. Third and one. And stacked up. Now, fourth down, Hugh Freeze has got a decision to make. Fourth and one. Looks the throw, fires in the left flat. Pass made! Stop me! Jackson Mitchell! He was all over the receiver, Malik Caper, and turned it over on downs to the Huskies. UConn is at the Liberty 41 yard line, down five. UConn shifts up their offensive line, and they put Jolie in motion to the left. Resets at the left. Snap to Turner. Looks downfield. He throws. He got a man open. And clears his catch in that. Touchdown! He ran a flat out and signed and hit him in stride. And the Huskies regained the lead. Marion lined up split to the left. From the right hash, Zion Turner puts a man in motion. Now he fires on a slant, and two points! And it's Keelan Marion out of nowhere. He has not played today. Keelan Marion scores two, and UConn leads 36-33. to and What we have is the best game of the season as UConn tries to win for the sixth time. Fourth down, one more play to make. Stadium in an uproar. Shotgun Bennett. Fourth down, needs 13. Snap, three-step drop, lots of time. You want the head coach. Shake his hand, stand up, shake his hand. Tell your teammates who you are. Hey, so deep, so deep. One, two, three, three. I've never been around a bunch of kids, okay, that look at me the way you guys do. Love you guys, man. It's so yeah. Yeah. Looks left, now he looks to throw. And I'm disappointed, but I'm going to tell you what, I am not discouraged. And it should stay, and it should hurt. It should stick with us. And he's had a lot of reason for hope, and now you get to see a lot of hope. You know, what does that mean to you? Hmm. I, obviously, I could say the generic answer. Like, oh, like, it's exciting. It's an exciting time. But there's more to it, in a way. It's, I've been here for five going to six years and it's been unbelievable what has happened within the last two months. And it's incomplete! Ball game! UConn has done it! They've taken the flames and extinguished them here in East Hartford! Nobody thought that could happen! Nobody thought six wins could happen! But you better believe it! The Huskies are going to go over 500! And the Huskies have done what many thought could not be done. They are a winning team. After one win last season, Jim Moore gets an ice bath at the center of the field. We have a field storming. The student section is coming out of the east end zone. I have worked so hard for this. That's, that's what makes it feel so good, right? It's like the easy road. Ain't always the best road, man. You guys chose to take the hard road. You had some obstacles thrown up in your way over the last few years. And here you stand now, okay? Six and five. Let me tell you something. We need him closer to you. Yeah, sir.